Getting hacked, something almost everybody fears, but we could be putting ourselves at risk without even knowing it. Tonight, ABC 15's Faye Fredericks has advice from a professional hacker on how to keep the bad guys at bay. I show them where their weaknesses are, so hopefully they can fix them before um, an attacker comes in and and uh, gets them. She's a good kind of hacker. Stephanie Carruthers helps people and companies avoid getting hacked. She sees it all, the mistakes we make without even knowing it. They post pictures of their keys, but what they don't realize is an experienced attacker could make a physical duplicate of that key just based off the picture alone. Even an average selfie or picture can show a lot more than you think. But what they don't see is information that's in the background or even the foreground. I've seen passwords written on post-it notes stuck to laptops, Wi-Fi passwords on whiteboards. And the most vulnerable place for your information? Facebook exposes the most information. They show who your friends are, who your family is, your coworkers, your employer, your kids, all kinds of information that is actually answers to security reset questions. And if you think hackers don't notice that, think again. They spend a lot of time performing open source intelligence gathering, going out trying to find any little piece of information that could help them craft their campaign. So what can you do to minimize the risk? Lie. Lie on common security questions. When you're filling out a form to open a new account, you may get asked questions like, what's your mother's maiden name? The street you grew up on. You don't have to tell the truth. That way, even if a hacker can find out the information, it won't help them at all. Faye Fredericks, ABC 15, Arizona. Good password habits are key. Make sure you don't use the same password for everything and change your passwords often. Punch